Guys, if you drive around Old Town Scottsdale, you'll see the street legal golf carts out and about, but the convenient transportation for those short distances can come with life changing costs. Scottsdale police responding to a call involving a car and a golf cart. Investigators say Robert Gandara rear ended the golf cart near Miller and Chaparral, throwing the male driver and four women on board from the cart. All five victims have serious injuries but will recover. Gandara is facing several felony charges. This incident comes a little more than two years after another one between a car and a golf cart. You see a car coming at your legs and you're on the back of a golf cart. Um, my reaction legs come up to our knees, so our legs didn't get smashed by a car. February 2018, the crash itself taking a deadly turn. What happened? Spawning an altercation and ultimately the shooting death of Tempe Fire Captain Kyle Brayer. Gunfire. I was next to the sidewalk when it happened. A judge sentencing the driver has run Parks to 22 years in prison. Luckily, the most recent incident not yielding the same result. Police telling 12 News golf carts are street legal, but they're also dangerous. While every incident doesn't spark violence, police say you should try to use a seat belt if possible and make sure everyone has a seat. Don't try to pile too many people onto the golf cart. Rachel Cole, 12 News.